Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today it's time to find out what's inside the Best Tech Kendo model BG, BG06-2. And we're going to get a look inside it. We're going to do a lot of things with this knife, and if it passes them all with flying colors, then this is a knife we're probably going to give away here on the channel. Best Tech was so generous with us that uh, I want to give back to you guys, so this is going to be... Like I said, most likely one of them we're going to give away. So let's do the standard stuff. Get it open so we don't spring the knife all over the place. Find our T6 because I think we're going to need a T6 down in here. Yes. First, let's get a look at the construction. We have nested stainless steel liners. We have pocket clip here. We have a Torx head in the middle of this oversized pivot. And we have a G10 backspacer. These are things that whenever we look at the uh, $65 MSRP and $55 or so dollar uh, street price that we need to be thinking about. And see if we can get this guy apart. See how this thing's put together in there. I'm looking forward to that. So those two come out easy enough. We've got a T8, and it looks like it's a three-screw setup. So we should be in good shape if this is not a free-spinning pivot. So it is. This is a problem. Watch this. That is a free-spinning pivot. Now, how are we going to fix this? <sighs> All right, first try, probably fail. We'll use some plastic on the back side of the knife. Yep, that failed. Now we're going to use the back side of a work mat. Where did I lose my screw at? Oh, it's there. This is a disassembly mat for firearms. Sometimes you can pull this off. Not going to happen this, maybe. Nope. All right. So, one other thing you can do, and this is awful. I hate doing this, but you can put sideways torque on the blade, and I'll cut myself so... Good thing I've got the tape laying here. I'm going to tape the blade up so I can hopefully avoid the cutting of myself. But put some pressure. Sideways pressure on the blade. And yes, that's going to do it. Still don't like free spinning pivots, but we were successful. All right, so let's get it apart and get some of this tape back so we can see what we're looking at. So there's our liner. And we've got a nicely cut liner here, very nicely cut. And we have a set of bearings that, in my opinion, they put in backwards, but that's okay. Most companies do that for some reason. And we are drilled to lighten up the knife. That's always great. And we are going into sleeves. All very good. And here is our little G10 backspacer. Now, whenever we compare this to a Wii knife, or we compare it to some of the other knives, this is going to be a differentiating factor in some of these knives. Uh, the G10 backspacer versus titanium and we versus just simple standoffs whenever we look at the Ontario model. Uh, and I don't know that we have any other D2 knives around here, but that's going to be some of your defining stuff whenever we talk about the price points here in a few videos. 
So, G10 Backspacer. It is well machined, though. Get a look at that. They have done a very, very good job of machining that guy. And just super, super nice. Got a nice big stop pin. Nice. It's kind of the standard bearings everyone's using. Very nice. Let's see if this is a screw or... Okay, that is a one-piece sleeve and this piece here. And... Uh, We've taken apart several other brands of knives. You know, you can put a step in here. You can do a D shape. You can do a hex shape. Lots of different things to capture this pivot. And that's one of the things. Best Tech, if you're watching, please, let's do those one of those things. I don't care which one. Pick one and let's do it. Uh, you know, the hex or the little step right here is probably the easiest but uh, it makes disassembly of the knife a lot easier. Which, by the way, I did not mention. Currently, we are avoiding the warranty on our Best Tech knife. So, uh, their current warranty currently states not to disassemble the knife. So, well, you know, whatever. We know how, what that really means. That means if you don't know what you're doing, leave the knife together and don't mess it up. So, I'm going to grab some oil and we'll put her back together. All right, let that thing drop out. See if we can get everything cleaned up in here. And I think this knife was brand new. We're not going to need to alcohol anything down. Uh, we can see that they have counterboard here on the blade. And that is a beautiful thing whenever they counterbore the blade and let that whole assembly come up a little tighter. Uh, sometimes they counterbore out here on a titanium knife and that's beautiful too but it's really beautiful when they counterbore the blade and they counterbore the handle and you get a really nice tight snug fit but it also makes it harder to get that knife together perfectly every time so there we go we'll clean this guy up a little bit uh, from the smell of things they're using really smells kind of like nano oil so, you know, that's what we'll put back in it. So, what do we got here? We need to wipe our pivot off. Slide it back through. And we'll get a little tin weight. That's 85. That's tin weight nano oil. And I'm using nano oil. You don't have to. There's lots of different oils out there. Uh, I just happen to have some, so that's what we'll use. And I'm going to put the bearings in the other way. Bearing thickness is bearing thickness. Why would I put them in that way? Well, the reason is we have this counter bore here. If we put the bearings in that way, we have a better chance of keeping junk out of the bearings. If we put the bearing in with the open side of the race facing that liner, then we have this all expo semi-exposed. All we got is this little partial trap here, and any dust, dirt, ick can get under there. It's a little hard, but it can get under there. If we turn it around the other way, this is all sealed up in the blade. And all we have sticking out is this area here, which, yes, stuff can get in the bearing, but if you blow it out with air or, you know, squirt it out with water or oil or whatever, you have a better chance of getting the crap out of there if it's not trapped under this bearing race that I keep dropping. So that's how we're going to do it, even though Best Tech did it the other way. It may cause, it should not cause us a problem in assembly, but, you know, if it does, we'll swap it out go back. All right, so here's what I like to do with the nano oils. I will take the 85 weight, and I just put a drop there in the detent hole. And as you can, whoop, got to put it together to pick it up like that. As you can see, it's just a full drop there in the detent hole. Set it back up on the scale and 
and put our backspacer back in the right way. That's a G10 backspacer, but it is a very, very nice backspacer. And I'm going to unfold this some so we can get this a little easier. Back our camera out a bit. Put our other bearing. We needed to oil that bearing. We didn't do that. We want 10 weight on the bearing, or I do. Some people will go 85, but I just put a few little drops of 10. Don't over oil it. Doesn't need it. Even though if you do over oil it, all you got to do is wipe it off as you use the knife for the next few days. And then let's get our other liner in if we can. If you can't, there you go. Got the liner in, and we forgot to put the bearing on, so liner off. Bearing grease just a little bit. Stick it in there. Be sure you get it oriented the way you want, whether you want it in the stock orientation or the way that I do it. And then get your liner back on there. And put our handle material back on. Slide that back in the hole so I think we've got the forks bit for that in the knife or in the tool. Tighten that guy down. And we'll do snug for now and see what we need later. There is a bit of Loctite, but it's apparently blue on these screws. If you can see that or not, but it is apparently blue Loctite, so not a big deal. It was it came out easily, and the screws are pretty good. Now I'm not going to give them. They're not the best I've ever used. But they've got fairly deep recesses, and I don't feel like I'm going to be stripping out bits with them. I feel like they're pretty dead yum good. So, good job, Best Tech, on the screws. That's something that you guys know just drives me batty. We've talked about it. If you've never seen any of my videos on screws, I've got videos on what's under the head of the screw and the head of the screw. It's either in one of the DNT videos or uh, one of the apex videos where I talk about the head of the screws and wow just it's a major nitpick with me best tech has done a pretty good job except for the rotating pivot so let's see what we get yeah well we've over tightened a little bit and this may be a load of fun let's see what we get Our adjustments okay now looks to me like we're right down the wickets it's all black down in there I don't know if you can see it or not there we go but looks pretty good and let's see how it works works very good so what did we learn here with the best tech uh, kendo well, what we learned is we've got a well-put-together knife that is, in my opinion, at $55. It's well worth its asking price. However, that free-spinning pivot, though it isn't a problem, we were able to use the back side of, uh, this is a, I think it's a, no, it's a 1911 mat, to get that pivot free, so it's not a huge deal. It's still an annoyance. That pivot needs to be captured, just like in we fussed about with other manufacturers, and they finally saw the light, most of them anyhow. And uh, we also see that getting it apart and getting it back together and coming back to center, getting our action good, is not a big deal. So they've got good close tolerances. And it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, the Best Tech Kendo... And the rest of the G10 Best Techs, I think, are going to be good knives. We do have to pick on them over that. And uh, that's a bit ugly. But as long as we can get it apart, I'm not going to fuss too much. Anyhow, guys, that has been a What's Inside of the Best Tech BG06B-2 Kendo. 
One of the D2 and G10 models, MSRP is at 65 bucks, street price around 55. And uh, so far, it looks like it's a pretty good deal. We'll get more into it whenever we do the full review. And you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.